Taco Bell. Division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring. Oh, man. Two shots there. Oh, nice right hand. You're okay. You're okay. Let's well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the attempt. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. O'Malley gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. That's a beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Big head kick land. Nice one, two there. Sterling shot is blocked. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Combinations here. Oh, huge elbow. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Look at him dig his shin right under his opponent's elbow. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, Huge elbow. elbow there. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, wow. Head kick. And again. Oh. <laughs> Some real power shots here. Kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys can stop from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Look at him whip his hip to that kick. Back and forth we go here. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Yeah. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, Sterling comfortable wherever the fight goes, but you're seeing a lot of the improvements he's made in his stand-up under Ray Longo, and at least early on in this one, more than content to strike. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Sterling. Leg kick. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down. A huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up. With him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Ooh. Good right here. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? for the left hand there. Sterling's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. 
trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Nice great punch. Let us now look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. And as far as flight. Second round here. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Head kick. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. To well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make you pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by O'Malley. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. And he continues to work the body here. Head kick lands. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, he felt like he had to kick effectively to win this fight, and he is certainly doing that right now. Nice combination of kicks. His kickboxing coach is feeling ecstatic right now, watching a guy employ this kick-heavy strategy. O'Malley's strike attempt there is blocked. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. O'Malley gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Doing a nice job elevating with those knees. Oh, massive knee to the head. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, big punch land. Sterling's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Powerful leg kick land. He's determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. O'Malley's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Man. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at that leg. Oh, straight right. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent in trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. One, two there by Sterling. Oh, huge spinning kick.
Let's see if he can make some adjustments. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Huge right hand! it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent. And... on that spinning attack. He's hurt, he's hurt. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Oh, he got it hurt back. Do you believe it? Oh, and there comes the stoppage. He got him. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sugar Shaw!